We are live. There we go. All right, kids. Happy Tuesday. Great to see everybody. I have a special guest today. I talked about her yesterday. D. Campuzano is with us. And we're here to talk about really figuring out how to outsource a lot of the communication. I get tons of questions, as you all know, about what do I do with all the phone calls, the Facebook messages, the email messages, the inbound website leads, all the stuff that comes in. How do I sort those out? figure out who I want to talk to, who I don't want to talk to. I just simply don't have time. I'm running my agency. I'm consulting. I'm doing stuff. I'm hustling. But to figure out how to handle the inbound communication is a really big deal. And it's stressful. And truly, when I figured this out, this one thing out, I don't know, 2010, 11, somewhere in there, all of a sudden, what's up, Laura? Good to see you. Good morning. It's so important. This changed the trajectory of my agency because it probably took three to four hours of time off my calendar, which allowed me to sell, allowed me to actually bring value and do my thing and not get stuck. Natalie, what's up? Great to see you. Thanks for the hashtag there. So let's do this. All right, Adi, please introduce yourself before you even go into this introduction because she's crazy cool, the coolest person ever. She owns her own agency that builds and manages communication structures for clients like you and me. She also handles all that communication, her and her team do it. And cooler than ever, she's an MMA fighter. Like legit, you don't try to steal her freaking purse if you see her in an alley. Just say, hey, keep on walking. <laughs> Well, thank you so much Chris, for the introduction and for having me here today. And it's a pleasure to speak with you guys. So my name is Adi Campuzano. My company is Dedicated Office Solutions. I have been in the call center space for 20 years. Um, we're a full inbound and outbound call center. And my, my true passion is working with small businesses. Um, so we are on the communication side and we have the privilege of being the front end for so many businesses. Um, which allows us to help and, and kind of be experts in um, representing businesses and, and setting a precedent for exceptional customer service on the front end. The first impression, impression is everything. And so um, we're a very sales oriented organization because we understand that, you know, sales is life for businesses. And so we're dedicated to just supporting every aspect of that. So thanks for yeah. having me. You're right, Matt. She is a badass. Absolutely. Scary person right here. So, <laughs> you look so nice, Adi. I don't know how to. <laughs> All right, so, um, I, I, when we first talked a month ago, I actually looked you guys up, you and your husband up, like saw some of the fight reel videos you guys have put together. I had to freaking turn them off after like 90 seconds. Cause I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Truth be told, he's truly the violent one. I'm very nice. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> All right. So, um, so uh, okay. So here's a question up, and then we'll jump into. I've got tons of questions. I'm sure folks here watching do as well. Y'all, as always, live Q and A. Ask whatever you want. Right. She will answer your questions on how to handle this communication bit and outsourcing it. All the things you can do. Um, do you operate in um, ecom also? We do, we do. So it's interesting. We have, there's kind of like two facets. So we handle um, our relationships are with small businesses in every industry. And our approach is to customize every account so that we integrate into your business. We basically assimilate into whatever you're doing. So we handle e-commerce, customer service, order taking, um, handling the back end of of that CRM environment so that if customers after placing an order have questions, we can support them with tracking information or changes or returns or anything like that. And so our staff will actually learn the business, the product, the services, explain products and services and process orders. So that is definitely one aspect of what we've been doing for many years. Wow, that's a big deal. That really is. And so from the sales standpoint, um, well, let me just back up, let's back up. Let's get a little more nuts and bolts here. So when, for me, Owning a digital agency, owning a consulting service as well. Mm -hmm. How would I, if I didn't already have a team doing this for me, how would I go about deciding what kind of company I should use? Should I, should I, number one, should I hire my own team to answer phone communication and handle some of that basic sales stuff? Or should I outsource it? What are the benefits of inside versus outside? And by the way, everybody watching, there's no sales pitch here. I, I don't get a commission, an affiliate, nothing. 
I, I just know she's the real deal. And I, I want us to all be able to lean in on experts to understand how to hand off all this minutia that we get stuck in that we should not be doing if we want to take our agencies and businesses to the next level. So how do we go about figuring out, should I hire my own person or should I find an agency to hand the projects off to? That's a great question. And there are situations where I actually tell people to do that, hire somebody, because there's a sweet spot in which it makes sense to outsource to an organization like ours. So um, if you're growing and you don't have enough business to sustain or justify full time people, then you should outsource. If you're if you have enough for one full-time person, but you're growing beyond their capacity, outsource. You basically want to use it to supplement whatever you can afford full-time in-house. So whether you're growing into a full-time employee or growing from one to two, two to three, or so on, or if there's a certain aspect of your business that it's it doesn't make sense for you to train and handle in-house because there's not enough of that and your people in-house are better used elsewhere. Ideally, you really want to understand that in your business, your time is is the equity. Your time is the most valuable thing. And so for you to do what you are great at that nobody else can do should stay on your plate. If there are tasks that other people can do as well, if not better, that's what you should outsource. So the, the balance is a volume issue. Of course, there's a cost issue. As a, as a shared service, any shared service is going to be cost effective if you're at a certain volume. We have a break even point where at cer certain volume levels, it makes more sense. And I'll tell people for the same money, less money, you know, hire someone in house um, for that type of volume and we'll cover everything else. Um, there's also the component of, do you want to, you know, hire, maintain staff? Do you want all your eggs in one basket in a shared environment? You don't have to worry about vacations, maternity leaves, people leaving and then having, you know, everything um, left unhandled until you transition to the next person. There's pros and cons, and it really depends on the stage of your business is, is really like my short answer. Yeah, that's a really good answer too. I appreciate that because I've been in that stage and I think we all have where we, we, at first we don't have a person. And so we have to like, we need like 60% of a person, but that's kind of hard to always find that fit. And then we find, okay, somebody to help us like you to take off, you know, the load of that extra workload so we can make that next big jump mm -hmm. and really take our business to the next step where we can hire our own key person. Yes. But then if we're still growing, which we should be, we get into the next partial person, partial person. And something we talk about in our, in our mastermind, in our like deep training that we do is having that bench strength where, where we get in a spot. What's up, Rock? Good to see you, man. Uh, thanks. CN, welcome, Matt. Welcome. It's great to see everybody. We, having that bench strength, Rock. I know you just hired some people as well, where where we can where we can lean in on not just sick days and somebody leaving all of a sudden, but if you're growing and prospecting, we're looking for that next big opportunity, that next big client, that next big three referrals we get in a row. We're like, oh my gosh, I can't handle the work, and that's where having that team really show up really really helps. Um, Matt says, is it phone only, or do you also do live chat and email stuff? Ooh, good question. Sure. Omni channel, so it's phone, live chat, email, text. Um, we handle all communication on your behalf. Omni channel, that's cool. <laughs> okay. It's very, very, um, very <laughs> Avengers, Thor, godlike. Uh, <laughs> it's got to be some Marvel superhero that, that fits that bill. Uh, okay, so when when you're handling, I want to hand off my. I work with, as everybody knows in this group, I work with a lot of surgeons and subspecialties in our done for you agency. Mm -hmm. We grow surgery practices in rural communities. Everybody in this the place has their own niche, their own specialty. And we're always worried about like, how do I hand off this communication to you or, or Matt there with Ecom? How do I hand it off and make it where your people are going to sound like me? Yeah. 
That's a great question and a, and a very valid concern. And that's actually been our differentiator for the last 20 years, because we were always kind of the anti-answering service, meaning we never seem like a service. We never sound or feel like a service. We've always represented ourselves as the company. So we've literally had situations where people would go and show up for their massage and say, hey, where's Kelly? She was great on the phone. I couldn't wait to meet her in person. And then, you know, it would be her day off, of course. <laughs> <laughs> always your day off. <laughs> <laughs> she a lot. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we always give the feel like even where we are, like location wise, we're always at that location. Um, we give the full representation that we are part of that company. And so here's another thing with our, our service and our concept is we're dedicated office. So we work in dedicated teams. We always assign a small group of agents to a business. So you're never dealing with 50 people that may or may not know your business. And that's where I think a lot of call centers fail is that they don't have a custom approach where we are always a custom approach. And so the same girls will build rapport with you as the business owner and your clientele. They'll understand the culture of your business. They'll speak in the voice of your business. Some people keep a really casual approach within their business. Some are very rigid and some are, you know, if it's more of a medical um, speed will, you know, incorporate the lingo of your business. And a lot of that is, is in preparation. We do a very comprehensive onboarding. We do very extensive training before going live. Now it doesn't take us forever because we've got this muscle built to be very strong, but we'll do a very comprehensive onboarding and understand the business, the location, you know, we'll even get to directions. I mean, my staff will even go so far as to Google map stuff and help people get places. I mean, they go above and beyond all the time. We treat every business like it's our own. So um, during that onboarding, we really get an understanding of your business, your niche, your industry, so that we can act accordingly and give the representation that this is all we do all day long, that it's not a shared environment. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, cool. So you say also that a group like yours, your group does this very well, but I'm I know you have a lot of expertise and history in this industry that they can also take some of the sales and 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 closing communication off of our plate because a lot of us honestly just don't love that part of it. Right. Um, and you've mentioned like medical supplies and all kind of other stuff that you y'all are consistently closing deals on. How do you how do you go about doing that? It's um uh, it's training and so we for e-commerce, which was the question earlier, we'll we'll learn the website, we'll get familiar with FAQs, we'll utilize tools that are in front of us at the time. And so when we close sales, we're processing orders, and so that's an e-commerce component. Um there's different industries have different sell. Obviously for fulfillment, your clients have to have somebody in office and they do a consultation and it's a very personal and, you know, um, medical approach. And so our, the sale for us is qualifying a lead, getting them engaged, getting them excited and getting them to the appointment. So that would be a successful conversion on our side. Now, a lot of solarpreneurs, wear every hat and don't like it. And I think that's what you're referencing where they don't want to insurance agents don't want to prospect and find out who's qualified to have a meaningful conversation. Lawyers should never talk to somebody before they're retained or in that consultation to get retained, you know, to get a retained client. So we create that distance, that buffer, and we elevate a small business by giving them support staff. You sh there should always be a gatekeeper and there should always be somebody building you up so that you're not getting on that first call saying how great you are. It's kind of nice hearing it from other people who get the prospect excited to get into a sales situation. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. For those of us who've never experienced that, when I first started doing that, having a, having a layer uh, between me and the prospect really it like adds a layer of professionalism and really steps up the game. So people are are thinking of you like a lawyer, a doctor, a high end professional, which you are just adding that structure in there creates that experience that people need that builds an extra layer of trust, which increases your profit margins, your bill rates. Everything goes up from that. I would say that one layer right there would completely pay for any service that you would offer. I mean, it's just so obvious an easy an easy way to upsell. It also 
sets a precedent that your time is valuable. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with understanding their value. And they have this kind of like um, dilemma of, of knowing their value, at, but believing other people will, be, will also um, believe their value. And so when you also, when your, your time is valuable and your, everything is scheduled and you're not just always so accessible, it creates that importance for your time and people will respect it more because everybody will do what you allow them to do. And if you set a tone within your business, your time is valuable. It has to be scheduled. Your price is your price and it's worth every penny. And so having an infrastructure kind of sends subliminal messages to that thought process um, and having that support staff just shows that there's a process. There are systems in place. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk coaches and consultants for a second. So how do you take a coaching and consulting practice like I have, where you have two masterminds, Facebook groups, lots of outward bound social media, lots of lots of incoming conversations, you know, doing webinars, constantly speaking on podcasts, all that stuff that normal coaches, consultants do. How do you help me with all of that? Because there's an enormous amount of communication going on around me. Absolutely. And so we would really decipher where the leaks are. So you have a team, obviously. And so where is your team struggling? Where do they feel like they're, I can tell you, to figure out where you need help. So where are you finding gaps in communication? Where do you need support staff? Because we're here to just bridge the gap to wherever you're struggling. So we can jump into different messaging platforms on your behalf. We can field phone calls. We can confirm appointments over the phone. We can do those little one-offs that you've, you're struggling with. So having an operation where you have so many moving parts, I would understand what is being covered in-house, where you might have um, any gaps or deficiencies or things that are not being handled because you don't have the resources to do them. And then we can get those up to the same standard that everything else is being handled. Okay. I don't know if everybody's heard that. You just said you could jump into different messaging apps on our behalf and handle some of those basic conversations. Uh, imagine just closing my eyes. <laughs> imagine if you had 90%, 80% of the messaging going on in your social media platforms where we're all just trying to hustle, taken care of by someone else, and only the, the conversations that weren't simple to answer and needed to rise to the top came to you, the owner. And imagine if somebody else was handling your calendaring, your emailing, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. I know we all have automated calendar apps, but there's still questions that come and go from that. Imagine if you unplugged from all that and you just watched your calendar fill up with the right people. Yeah. Is that where this goes? That That's where we go, yeah. Oh that way also, you know, there's a lot to be said and I've been in that place as well where I would just take sales calls all the time, like whenever they came in, no matter what I was doing. And then I evolved my own processes using my staff and now every, my time is scheduled and I know exactly what to expect every day and I'm much, much more efficient and I'm able to scale and continue to grow our, our business. Um, because of that organization. So just utilizing people to help you value your own time is priceless. Mm -hmm. All right, if you all have questions, now it's time to ask them. We got the expert here and she's kind enough to tell us not just that she can do it and her team's awesome, but but to show us how to do it. If you have questions, you want to try this on your own and have your own person, she'll, she'll help out. She's right here. Um, so l let me just say to just affirm where we are right now. Uh, by the way, Laura, having someone uh, call to confirm appointments definitely ups the game. Yes, it does. So true, Laura. When you get your time back, only an hour a day of your time back, if you spend that time playing Xbox or catching up on the crown, whatever your addiction happens to be on the screen, or just scrolling through Facebook, then it's wasted. But if you take the hour a day that you get back, just an hour, it's probably three to four hours if you really went in deep with this. Let's just say it's an hour. If you take that hour a day to be intentional and let someone else book two sales calls a day in that one hour block that you've got freed up all of a sudden because a team like this helps you, that's a tremendous game changer. That's 10 sales calls per week. If you only close 10% of the people you talk to, that's four new sales a month. There's no freaking way you lose money at this game. And if anything, you just enjoy your life more because you're doing what you love to do. 
and not the stuff you hate. Most of us hate these little details. And what's also important is a lot of people don't realize how much money they leave on the table because they're like, oh, I'll call that person later or I'll follow up on that lead later or they just get intimidated or distracted and they're not connecting with prospects to see what opportunities are there. Um, there's so many people who just get distracted doing what they're signed up to do within their business that they neglect incoming inquiries not intending to to not to lose opportunities mm -hmm. but unfortunately they lose opportunities because they're not dialed into that immediate response mentality mm -hmm. and they sh shouldn't be they should have somebody doing it um, yep. there's a lot of opportunity on the table of people who are just trying to communicate and network and just um you know get to know you and your business oh my gosh yes we for those of you just jumping in here, I, there's no commission, no affiliate, no nothing. I get nothing for promoting Addie. I'm not trying to do that. That's not why she's here either. We're here to help and answer questions. The, the philosophy here, though, and the game-changing nature of bringing people in to help you grow, even if you already have a staff or team, or if you're just getting started with that, outsourcing and having someone to expand and grow with you rapidly makes an enormous difference. We got referred to, I think it was... 23, 24 subspecialty surgeons just in December. And if I didn't have a team like you've given us here to, to lean in on, to get that stuff followed up on, those people would never become clients. And that's such a loss. And we all want our life back. We all don't want to work 12 or 14 hour days. We want to go do stuff. And that means you can't be connected to your cell phone all day long. You got to hand it off. It's painful, but you got to trust somebody so hard. It's uh, hard. Lord, I Lord, Lord, appreciate that. Oh yeah. Lord, so there's so many moving pieces. Every micro conversation adds up to the sales and fulfillment. Yeah. So as you're building a team like this, how do we as the entrepreneur make sure we're communicating to the team members we lean in on? And you know, sometimes we get frustrated like, oh, you didn't handle the conversation right. We just pull it and yank it back out. How do we make sure we're continuing to add value to the training and standard operating procedures or whatever you call them to make it long term a viable play. Right. And so it's it there's always going to be a learning curve in any whether you're hiring an in-house person, whether you're learning something for yourself or whether you're outsourcing to a, a team. So it's important to really put the time and energy into making sure that communication is clear from the beginning. I never like to assume I'm like painfully clear about everything so that I can understand it myself and then train my team. So if you're working with one VA or if you're working with an outsourcer or service that has a group of, of VAs or a group of uh, representatives that will service your business, it, it would behoove you, it makes sense to just spend the time, role play, go through your FAQs, hear them tell you what you do. Make sure that they truly understand your business and that they're not just regurgitating some lines on a screen and that they're, because in order to have a meaningful conversation, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to be comfortable and confident in the concept that you're communicating on. So you can have script questions, you can have things and blurbs to read, but when a conversation inevitably deviates from a script, you have to be able to be a human and be conversational. And so in, in our business, we're not scripted. We use a script as a guideline to make sure that we hit all the points, but our staff is trained to be charismatic, funny, conversational, and they're connecting with people because business is relationships. Mm -hmm. Business is relationships, 100%. Everything is person to person. If you treat everybody like your new best friend, then you will be very successful in business because people appreciate that connection and they appreciate that, that value in knowing that somebody is approachable and that they're um, going to be responsive to their needs. So having that component is really important. Make sure that the people that you're working with, you have a bond because people also work better and harder for people they like. So if you build a rapport with anybody representing your business. And this is so important as the culture in our company. 
It is so important that you have a personal connection and a personal interest in the people representing your business. They need to like you. If they don't like you, they're just going to clock in, clock out. They're not invested. If they like you, they will they will do anything for you. They will move mountains for you and, and your cause. And so it's important to connect with every single individual in your organization, whether they're outsourced or in-house, and then they can understand what you're doing. They can get on board with your mission. They can get on board with your goals. And, and then you truly have a partner. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so true. Laura saying, right? Yes. That is so, so true. It, it's, you know, we all feel our stress as entrepreneurs and we got a lot on our shoulders and we have to bear a lot of pressure, but we, we so have to be the kind people that we got to be the boss. We wish we had when we were 22, you know, and still in grad school or college or whatever. And, and wish we had a kind, we got to be that boss. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what changes people around us. And it's what allows us to invest in other people. And all that investment comes back. It really does. Yeah. I love this. So what am I not asking that, that you're like, you know, here is the biggest pitfall I see when people are trying to grow rapidly and they don't have the team in place. What's the biggest thing that like, this is the warning sign. When you see this, this is when you call for help. Um, Analysis paralysis is going to get in your way at every stage of the game. Some people overthink every decision, every action, every risk, and it keeps them from knowing if it was good or bad. Try everything and you'll know that much faster if it's the right thing or the wrong thing, but you'll never come across the wrong thing if you don't try things. Mm -hmm. And so if you're seeing that you're getting bogged down, if you can step back and evaluate your day and your processes just once a week, say, okay, what did I do this week? What did I not do this week? How do I get it done next week? And don't be afraid. A lot of people as counterintuitive as it sounds are afraid to grow and they're afraid to succeed. So you really have to be honest with yourself and see where am I getting in my own way? Where can I reach out to other competent, capable people to assist me so that I can focus on where my heart is and I know I'm going to be uh, aligned with my business blueprint. So you want to make sure that you're doing what you're excellent at and what you love. Usually are love the things you're excellent at mm -hmm. and things that you're not great at. Find quality people to help you with because it will fast track all of your results. That's good advice. That's good advice. Everybody in this group is an overachiever. We're all very highly intelligent. We're all problem solvers. And we all are pretty convinced that we could be brain surgeons or astronauts if we had just chosen to. But the truth of it is, we can't do it all. <laughs> We're just one person. And it does take a team. Absolutely. Um, Matt says, can you answer every question or sometimes do you need to forward it to the store staff to answer? Good question, Matt. Yeah, we absolutely will reach out to clients in, in every uh, context. So if we don't know something, we won't lie, make it up. We'll tell them, hey, I don't know, but I'm going to check with my manager. Or I'm going to check with the owner. I'm going to check and get that answer for you. So we have the ability to just place a caller on hold. If we're on a live call, quickly call. Hey, Matt, the client, the customer wants to know X, Y, and Z, and then they're ready to order. You give us the quick answer. We go back with that information and we close the sale. We don't let anything get in our way. So if we need to call a client, call a business owner to get an answer to move on to the sale and completing our goal, we'll do that. If you're not available, then we let the customer know that's a great question. I don't have the answer at the moment, but I will get it for you and get back to you. And then we reach out to you. And when you're available, to answer that question, we'll get back to your customer and continue to close the sale. I see another question if we're 24 seven, we are, we are not 24 seven. Our hours are an extended business day. So we are in central time. We're in Texas and we're 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. during the week and 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. Um, there are services that are 24 seven. There's also a way to to blend services, we have some emergency service clients that we roll over to an after hour service when we close so that we can be their staff during the business day and give an elevated level of service. And uh, it sounds like you're in e-commerce. So that would be processing orders and answering customer service issues. 
Um, during the after hours, it can roll over to a service, which might be as good, might not be as good, but at least you can have that interaction. Um, but my company specifically, we're not 24 seven. That's cool. Um, Matt, I'd love to know what that 24 seven need is also it's e-com. I, I get that, but how about this? I mean, how do we get in touch with you? Like how do we website, social media, what's the best way for us to engage and, and, and ask you questions one-on-one -on -one or lean in on your service? I appreciate that. Our website is dedicatedoffice.com. Okay. And um, you can find us on Facebook as well, dedicatedoffice.com. Um, you can search for us and see some reviews. If, if you look for a dedicated office solutions, you'll see a lot of Google My Business page. I'm seeing all five-star reviews. That's super cool. Thank you. Yeah, I love this. Okay, dedicated office. I see you there. Um, I'm going to drop the links in this conversation. And and also, um, is that the best way then? I know you're in our Facebook community here to Lead Agency Inner Circle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, I'll tag your name there as well. Is that okay? Absolutely. I was going to say my Facebook is, an, is, is open access. So you can message me. You can friend me. You can connect with me and ask questions. Um, I'm on WhatsApp. I'm on Telegram. I'm on all the apps. And so it's everything you can search by my name, Adi Camposano, and I'll be happy to speak with you. Um, also, I want to mention we use every CRM. So a lot of agencies, just so you know, we're extremely proficient. If you do use Go High Level, we're savvy there and we love it. Um, we'll use any calendar, CRM, any web-based system that you or your client have. And, um, and that's important because we integrate into what's already being used. And so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there as well. Um, but there's also on our website a link to schedule a call with me. So if you have specific questions about your business, whether it's um, just in general or if it's about our service, either way, I'm happy to speak. You can schedule that directly from our site. That's perfect. That's really helpful. That's great. Okay. So easy to find you. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see if there's any more questions. If not, we will wrap this up, folks. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Thank you very much i know you're busy i know you got to go we ran a few minutes over time so thanks for for hanging out i know you have a large team and staff and a crazy family a bunch of kids you, you got stuff going on oh my gosh <laughs> i appreciate the opportunity to speak with you and connect with your audience and um i really appreciate it. it's been always a pleasure to speak to you and um, thank you so much so fun having you enjoy thank you for being here and being part of our community too you're awesome talk soon all right take care